Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and I have 10 more jailbreak tweaks compatible with iOS 11. So I will be releasing more of these videos. I will be releasing at least one per day, 10 new tweaks every day for the next 10 days. If of course I can find the tweaks, but I'm pretty confident I will. And you will have a bunch of tweaks to install on your iOS 11 device. So go ahead and subscribe to not miss any of those and let's get started. The first tweak for this video is going to be music bar. So if you tap the volume up button, it will show you this bar here underneath the dock where you will have your music controls. So you have the volume slider here. You have the next button, the play pause button. And if you tap the artwork right here, it will take you to the now playing app. A pretty cool tweak. It is free. It's compatible with iOS 11. To install it, you will need to add a repo, which you can find in the description of the video. Zeppelin. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know about Zeppelin. It allows you to change the logo of the carrier on the status bar. So you just go to settings, go to Zeppelin, of course, enable it right here. Then if you go here, you have a bunch of different logos that you can pick from and apply them to the status bar. App color close. This is a very neat tweak. It adds color to the X buttons when you want to delete an app. So if you go to the edit mode, you can see it will add color and that color is based on the color of that app's icon. So you can see right here, green icon, it has a green X, pretty awesome. So if we jump to the settings of this tweak, we have two sliders. You can set here the transparency of the X button and then you can set the size of the border with the slider right here. Shift cycle. This tweak is pretty awesome. So you write a text, you select it, and then you can change that text. You can see right here, all lowercase. If I tap the shift button, it will turn all the letters that I have selected into uppercase. Or I can tap once more and it will turn just the first letter of each word to uppercase and the others on lowercase. So just tap the shift button right there and you can switch. You can see as easy as that. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Scrollers. Now this is a very useful tweak. I really enjoy this one. So you're on a web page. you're scrolling down, you know, on iOS, you can just tap on the status bar right there. It will take you right to the top. But what if you want to go to the bottom of that page with scrollers, all you have to do is just tap on the right side and it will take you to the bottom. So you have the right side, the left side to go up and the right side to go down as easy as that. Browser breadcrumb cleanup. So if you open Safari from a link on an app, so for example, here I'm on the app store, I tap on this link to go ahead and visit the devs website. So this tab will keep open in Safari. Now I'm done here. I tap to go to the app store. When I go to Safari, I will still have this tab right there. But with this tweak installed, once I tap there to go back to the app, it will automatically close that tab. So I'm done there. It will close it. Once I go back to Safari, the tab is not there. Haptic feedback. This tweak will add haptic feedback to your buttons. So you can enable the tweak right here. You can enable the lock button haptic feedback when locked every time or you can enable haptic feedback for the home button for the volume buttons and then also for the keyboard music control but music controls basically any button on your device can have haptic feedback with this tweak installed delete forever you know when you want to delete a picture it will save it on the recently deleted folder they will stay there for 30 days and you will have to go to that folder and delete them if you want to completely remove them from your device with this tweak installed when you tap the delete button it will give you two options you have the regular option and then you have another option to delete this permanently so it won't be on the recently deleted folder Tweak count too. This is a simple one for the Cydia app. When you go to your Cydia and you go to your packages, it will show you right here on the top right side how many packages you have installed on Cydia. Vibrancy iOS 10. This is a nice tweak for the lock screen. What it does is that it will customize the look of the clock and the date by adding a nice vibrancy to their color so they will be a bit transparent and it will have a nice vibrancy. The tweak doesn't have 
anything to configure under settings. So that's it for this video guys, thank you for watching, thank you for supporting my channel, I will be releasing a ton of new videos, I have another one planned for today, I will be showing you guys some themes compatible with iOS 11, so go ahead and subscribe to not miss any of those videos, and I see you guys on the next one.